It looks like things have escalated further here in the situation between the UK and Russia, where now the United States is stepping in. And Trump is saying, all right, we're kicking out 60 different Russian diplomats. We're closing the Seattle consulate. And they're saying that this is all because of this case where they're saying Russia targeted an individual inside of the UK, this guy and his daughter. They, they tried to poison him and his daughter, tried to kill both of them, is what they're saying. Now, the talk about showing who could have had or who could have created such an agent is still lacking. Now, they're saying that this is a military-grade nerve agent and that the UN has nothing on record from anyone creating it. Now, my thing is this. Why would anyone use an agent that could easily be tracked back to them? If it was one that Russia was working on, why would they use it? It just it raises a lot of questions, not saying that Russia's innocent by any means, because they're no angels. They are constantly up to something, just like all the alphabet gangs are globally. And now they're pointing the finger at one another here. And to me, at the end of the day, it's always the people that suffer. Okay, so all these shenanigans, blaming Russia, blaming the U.S., blaming all these other leaders. At the end of the day, it's the people that end up suffering. That's what I see over and over again. So what's happening here between the United States and Russia? Well, diplomats getting kicked out on the heels of them getting kicked out in the U.K. and many other countries going in this direction. Is this going to continue to drive a wedge here between countries and Russia? And just how far is this going to go before it really starts to spill over? And we start to see all those battalions that were mounted up in Lithuania and Poland throughout the past several years, the NATO battalions, they start to take action toward Russia here on this world stage. Nonetheless, this is some of the latest. I'm going to leave a link. I'll update as things change. It's been Dabu7.